Hello guys, welcome to Diesel Dexter. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your laptop view your estimated battery runtime. Uh, by default, Windows 10 no longer comes with this feature enabled, so you'll have to enable it. I'm going to share three ways to do that, two of which I'm pretty much confident is going to work on your laptop, regardless of which manufacturer it came from. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. And without too much further ado, let's get started with the main point of this video. Okay, here is the BIOS method, and as you can see, it's very, very easy to enable it on newer uh, laptop models. So as you can see from here, it only shows the percentage. There is no estimated runtime. So to enable this, you'll have to definitely open your BIOS, and to do that, you'll have to either shut down your computer if you have running processes, just hibernate it. So since I don't, I'll just shut down. So it has shut down. Then you power it on and continuously press escape. So after powering it on, you continuously press escape. It's going to give you this that is on HP. I'm going to attach the corresponding shortcut keys to the BIOS for respective devices or models. So as you can see here, it shows F10 for BIOS setup, so you could as well just click or continuously tap F10 on your keyboard after powering so that you could just um, enter BIOS setup directly. So we tap on F10 for BIOS and it's going to open. So you can see this is our BIOS and then you navigate to configuration. You cannot see. Navigate to configuration, which is this. We are under configuration right now. Then after navigating to configuration, just go down to battery remaining time. As you can see on newer versions of HP devices, ASUS, and probably UD devices, it's going to be included in the BIOS. So battery remaining time, as you can see, it is disabled. And as you can see here from the description, these items enabled or disables the reporting of battery remaining time from the BIOS to the operating system. If disabled, the operating system displays battery life in a percentage only. So we are going to enable it. After I enable it, then you go to exit and then save, changes and exit. Yes. So our device is going to restart itself and um, after restarting, it should show the estimated battery runtime. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. And should this method work for you, you please continue watching this video to the end. You might find other interesting method also. So it has a uh, boot up already. Then, um, okay. So it has boot up already, as you can see. We've changed the settings in BIOS. Now let's check our battery and see. Okay, let's give it some time. Okay, as you can see, there is two hours, 16 minutes. I don't know what's making my fan run that much, but something definitely is using my CPU. So as you can see here, two hours, 16 minutes remaining, which is the estimated battery time. It no longer just shows the percentage. So let's uh, go to the next one. Okay, I'm going to enable the estimated battery runtime through Reg Editor, which is a registry editor. And as you will know, or you should know that registry editor is a powerful tool and misusing it can render your system unstable or even inoperable. So it's, uh, as you can see, this is a different computer. I'm actually using my desktop right now, so it doesn't have the battery bar icon here. But um, using your laptop, just follow along and you should be fine. So you just come to this search and then type in Reg Edit. So I prefer to run it as admin, but then you can just click on it to open. So run as administrator, okay. Then after opening your registry editor, you have to back it up first. As I said, messing up with it could actually do a lot of bad to your computer. So you just 
click on this computer icon here and then click on file and export this is actually the document so as you can see i've already backed it up before so you just type in the name that you want save it's going to take some time and back it up please if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you do please we are um, few subscribers away hopefully to 3000 subscribers please contribute by subscribing so it has already exported all this registry it has backed it up to our document so let's check our document so here it is right as you can see 344 mb so it's everything here so after backing it up you click on or you expand h key local machine after expanding h key local machine you expand system then you expand control set then under control set you expand control so under control you locate power pp okay here power you click on power it's going to give you this values here so you click on energy estimation disabled you right click you delete confirm yes then user battery discharge estimator you click on it right click and delete also yes so after deleting them you come back to power again right click new d what 32 bit value so what we are going to name this is going to be this energy estimation enabled so we could just as well let say delete sorry let me rename it so energy estimation enabled energy estimation enabled it was energy estimation disabled so now it is energy estimation enabled then you double click on it and make sure that this value data is set to one you set it as one meaning set as one binary yes so okay so it's now set to one you close your register editor close everything and restart your device so after restarting your device your battery should start showing the estimated battery one time so let's head over to the last method on how to do this using a third party tool okay we're back on our laptop now i'm going to show you guys the third party application that can be used instead of the inbuilt runtime battery so you just have to install battery bar and you open any browser you're using and you type in google.com you just open google so after that you type in battery bar cnet Okay, the first result from download.cnet.com, you now click to open it. So I've already opened it, it's going to give you this screen, and then you click on download now. So it's going to download, your download will begin in a moment. If it doesn't, you just click on this restart the download, so it's going to download. So I've already downloaded it. Here is the application, battery bar setup. You double click on it, yes, and then we install it. Click on next, click I agree. Battery bar, floating toolbar, one floating toolbar on startup if you want. So, but I, I'll just go with the normal settings. Yes, install, it's going to install battery bar. Next, okay, reboot now, or oh, I want to manually reboot later. So, let's just say I want to manually reboot later. Then, we close this it should appear here as you can see here this is what it looks like using the third party application it's going to give you this huge battery icon and which will have uh, the percentage as you can see in the details the percentage the current capacity the charge weight the time remaining which is the battery run time in this case is the charge time remaining and the elapsed time since 80 for one time so if I'm to unplug it, it's going to last one hour, 51 minute, according to this battery bar app. So it needs some time to actually 
calibrate and read your battery run time so you should give it some time so as you can see the full run time just changed to two hours so this is how to get this using third party application and um, please if you find this video to travel helpful like and subscribe to this channel please um, in your case your battery will might have percentage meaning your battery has been losing some capacity this is a brand new computer so i don't expect to have any battery like 0.0, .0. Um, so that's pretty much about it Thank you so much for sticking right to the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider doing so. Most of my viewers are not subscribers. Please make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. I love you guys so much. Do have a nice day.